make sure I'm framed well, me, and then of course for the holsters I'm going to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, welcome back to North Fork Armory. Um, new holster review, so I want to talk about a couple of these ones that we've done. The old school Alien Gear leather backed um, Kydex shell, you know, thin leather, but overall it was comfortable and it served its purpose, and I never felt unsafe with it. Um, we did the Bravo concealment. Terribly uncomfortable for me. I did not appreciate it, but good feel, good build quality, you know, for Kydex. I really liked it. And by the way, the block is not loaded, so we're good there. Um, then we moved on to the shape shift and the newer alien gear. Um, much more comfortable than either one of those, um, but really some issues. It's, I mean, it is bulky and thick, um, which you can overcome, but the comfort and everything is there. Um, but here's what happened recently. I acquired a 1911, and I was like, you know, I'm going to buy just a paddle holster so I can open carry this thing sometimes, and otherwise I'm not going to carry it. And I got talking to a guy at a local shop, and he says, you can carry that 1911 all day, every day, um, probably easier than you can that Glock if you have the right holster. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Where do I get a holster like that? And he's like, I have it. So I'm going to show that holster. So uh, I've got it on right now, so that's what I want to show first. Full size 1911. I've been running this thing for like a couple weeks daily now. And uh, also, clear just so you guys see it. Uh, but, so, full size, right? Big, heavy beast. I like it. Uh, but here is the holster I got. And I want to show this next to these other holsters. So this thing is from a company called Bromeland. Um, so like Bromeland gun leather. Um, apparently they, you can order them online and it's just a guy that makes these holsters. Um, he makes them for a few models of gun and he makes an inside and an outside the waistband, uh, belts and mag pouches, and that's it. So, um, let's talk about quality. Um, you know, there's a few really high-end holster people out there that just hand make holsters. The one I'm most familiar with is Milt Sparks. He's here in Idaho, and uh, I. The guy had one of his old milk sparks <laughs> sitting there and we held them up side by side and the quality on this I think even blows theirs away um, and that is no so milk sparks is one that you're gonna pay 150 plus for anything they have and wait eight plus weeks uh, to get it so we're talking about that this is the same thing except that he the owner of the shop has been buying this guy's holsters for so many years. He actually has a bunch that he talked him into letting him have a stock of a few to sell. So um, he has no distributorship except for the one guy here. So you have to go online. I will get his link and post it in the comments. Um, and some cool stories that he shares about how he makes holsters. Um, I don't know how well we can see that. Even the stitching, the stitching is recessed in. Um, that's to avoid wear over the years. Um, you can tell it is molded for the gun. There's no kydex, there's no steel reinforcement. It's actually just not needed. Um, because of the way he treats the leather, it's rigid, it keeps it. Um, and this is so custom fit, when you first get it, you have to wrap your gun in two layers of wax paper shove it into this thing 
And if you're running a 1911, you have to have the safety on um, or it doesn't fit in there right. Um, you gotta shove it in there, let it sit overnight and then work it. And then wrap another third layer of wax paper and do it. It takes about three days to kind of get it broken in and molded just right for your gun. Um, if you go with one, you get one that's a slight bit thinner, it's gonna be loose. If you get a little thicker, you can stretch it out. So, um, full lifetime warranty. Interesting thing here, the snaps, these are called one-way snaps, so they do not unsnap from the bottom side, um, but they unsnap just fine from the top. So that means when you're drawing, if it gets hung up a little bit, or when you're putting your gun in, it's not going to come undone. The only downfall I found with that so far, uh, with my belt being a little bit on the thicker side than most, uh, just because of the way it is, I'm sure if I had a leather belt it would be fine. I need to have these snapped and then feed my belt through it uh, because I can't I can't get that angle in there to snap it once it's in place. But this thing is super comfortable and unlike the Alien gear or anything else, I can literally just slide it in. I don't need to unbutton or anything to actually get it in there. That's how slim that is. Let's put it up against a couple of these. Slightly thicker than the original Alien gear, I guess. Um, but of course, this contours into the body really well. Much, much thinner than that new Shapeshift 4.0. Way less bulk. Um, you'll notice this is bent over. That's because I've been wearing it for two weeks and it's kind of broken into how I wear it. It was flat originally. Um, back here is molded for that safety. So um, overall, thinner and a much, much, much smaller overall footprint. Uh, let's compare it to a broader that we can see in that. You know, kind of equal thickness. The difference is with your belt loops being here, obviously this thing sits out. This one's kind of like up there, so. So my point is this. I have spent, what, 35 bucks, 40 bucks, 200 on the whole shapeshift setup. Um, and the reality is, I was a little over 200, so probably close to 300 bucks, which I think is normal for most people. Um, especially, you know, I was new to concealed carrying when I got this, um, or at least being serious about it and wanting to carry all day, every day. <clears throat> And I could have spent $170 and just had a good lifetime holster. And if you really want some Kydex, this is a $30 uh, paddle holster that I've compared it to some Safari Land and some of the other surface style. And I, it's as good as, if not better, than some of those. So. Um, 30 bucks instead of 50 on those. Um, so I think the only couple of things with this, besides the snaps, once you get it broken in and stretched properly, it's leather. It is not Kydex. It slides in, right? 
It doesn't do the whole like, but then again, it doesn't have that rattle either. So it's held in there, it's held in there tight. I mean, it's not coming out. Um, when you go to holster it up, this is sitting at an angle, and you have to catch that angle right. If you don't, the top of your safety can hit the back there, and it actually will disengage your safety. Uh, so the first couple of days, I kept having that happen. Of course, once it was in, I could feel it and just flip it up, and it was fine. But it did have me concerned, and I just, I realized what I was doing is I was used to a straight and not really having that cant, and since this had that cant, <coughs> excuse me. So it's just like anything, it's training. Um, and kind of learning, you know, just doing that practice over and over again. Um, and you'll get it. So, you know, it's not the tactical, uh, even drawing it's, you know, it's not like released and then pulled out because it's kind of loose. It's, it's tight, but it pulls out just fine. Very different. Probably gonna get some wear, especially since that's a rock island, doesn't have the best finish in the world, but a little slide wear is just really, I think it adds a good character to a, a nice fire. So, that is the one I wanted to talk about, Bromeland. I'm gonna put it down there. Uh, they do make it for several Glocks and Smith and & Wessons and, and other things as well. Um, but it's seriously, it's a holster. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna love it. It's gonna last you literally forever. And it's worth saving up for instead of spending 30 to 50 bucks and end up with a drawer full of holsters, buy the one um, and repurpose your other holsters to mountain vehicles. Um, I've said before, I've got the first cheap flimsy uncle mics that I bought is bolted into my truck um, to use there so um, I actually use this in my Jeep and various things so uh, that's what I wanted to share Bromeland holster love it um, and for open carry I'd kind of like to buy another one of those well I'd like to buy one for the Glock too so maybe someday I will um, but otherwise we got this um, and again I do want to mention this real quick alien gear with the whole hey it's convertible you can do everything this thing's 30 bucks for 10 bucks it has a molly attachment and yes you have to use a tool it's they give you the allen wrench it's one bolt that comes out and pops the molly stuff on for your chest or your pack or whatever um, so 40 bucks to have an OWB and Molly. Um, it honestly blows their deal away at a hundred plus dollars to have that. So, um, you know, good set up there. Anyway, um, we're going to be putting these videos here, minds.com. Um, so if, if we disappear off of here, minds.com is where you'll find us. And I am exploring a couple of other uh, newer options that are popping up uh, with YouTube doing their thing. So uh, getting rid of gun channels and whatever. So uh, we'll be seeing you there. Otherwise, everyone, stay safe. Carry on.